Alrighty, this is Manny here for the Picky Miners, and today I'm going to be talking about a mod I have on my Minecraft right now. It's called the Planes and Vehicles mod. Uh, I've had this mod on my computer for a little less than the past week, and I've mainly been working on this world called Planes. It's a, in a size form, it's actually really large compared to all of my other worlds, only World 3, which is one of my larger main worlds doesn't even come close so I don't know here it is so this mod allows you to have a couple cars and a whole lot of planes here that you have access to and here's my control tower right here it's pretty high so I can see it in the sky ha <laughs> um, I don't know but the planes, they fly awesome. They're really easy, they're nice to control, and they give you a whole new feel for Minecraft, really. And here, let me jump down and I'll show you my cars, which I have in the gay garage. I'm playing on Peaceful right now, so I don't know. I've never played on any difficulty setting that involves mobs on this world. It's mainly just for building and creating and really testing out the mobs, the mods. So right here I have my garage, and it only allows you to build two cars right now. I don't know if uh, he's working on an update, but there is a tank online, but I can't make any parts of the tank that I need to, so I don't know if you can make it if you have all the parts, but I couldn't make any single one of the parts. But right now, these cars drive absolutely horrifically. I mean, they don't, they don't really even have a brake. They just go and stop, and they can't even handle stairs. So if you're going anywhere at all with these, or you're going uphill at all, you, you can't. You gotta just either go downhill or go straight. And as you can see, there's a lot of floating here, even though it seems... I don't know. I'll touch it for one second, then take my finger off, and it'll still keep rolling and then you can't just stop you gotta kinda work into it I don't know should put in a break for it I don't know if he does but should put in a break for it and fix it the graphics so that it actually you know not just seems like going through everything there we go let me retrieve my charcoal coal here I haven't tested it yet but I do believe you can use charcoal to on any one of these things so those are my two cars kinda like a army jeep here this is more of my rolls royce you know with the looking nice for the ladies alright so let's get back to the planes which is really the main part of this mod this is really what drew me into this mod this was an extremely tough mod to install but I found a very helpful video I'll include it in the description if I can find it again but pretty much what he did, he included the whole mod in a zip folder, unlike on the on the website where it brings where the I think it's the actual creator's website, not website, but it's just on a forum. The actual thing of it, it's all spread out what you need to download. So it was it was extremely confusing until I found the video. So right here we have a simple what's called a biplane, the two wings. This is a two seater. One of the pictures that was on it was actually a wolf in the back. So you can, you and your wolfie can go flying together. Kind of cute. Here we have like a, the Red Baron. I don't know, it's not called that, but kind of looks like it. I really like the look of it. And here you see it's sporting the three wing design with the guns up front. This one again is a two wing design with the guns up front kind of a step up from the biplanes and that's a step up from there and fell in here uh, this one is I don't know it's all metal plane forgot what it's called but I know what this one's called this one's called Spitfire very cool looking plane and so I don't know pretty much the biplanes the fastest because it's the least chunky I actually really like flying the red one here so I'll take that one out show you guys what these things can do uh, let me check my video settings. 
graphics bar. All right, sounds good. So what you do is you just right click to get in. Soup. Press R. Put your charcoal and uh, coal or charcoal in. Let's test this charcoal here. Alrighty, and then it's pretty much the normal Minecraft controls, except you go shift to look down. I'm already in the air. These things don't take very long to go up. Shift to look down. And then space to look up. And the handling on these things is pretty great. Uh, here, let me go into the... That's not what I want. There it is. Kind of like the video mode. I don't know what it's called. But, I don't know. It's, it's very amazing. You can go up. You can't go any higher than the actual world is created. But you can reach the clouds. Lag there a little bit. Oh, well. And then, I haven't really found a use for these yet. The one thing I have done with these is I found a sheep. I don't know, I was looking for sheeps. And I used this to find it. To find some and then kill them and take their wool. Like a beast. Um, there's some more sheeps. Weird. Alright. But, I guess they're to travel. I don't really see the points. Because with the compass, it only points you back to your spawn location. So you can't really set up a new base too easily and remember. You'd have to have pretty decent memory to do that. But I've flown pretty far and seen, I don't know, just how far the world can go. Not really, but they're very fun to use, very fun to fly. And I don't know, that's about it great mod i suggest installing it and just trying it out the only thing though is that none of the planes i have here i've collected absolutely zero resources except for a little bit of sand that i used to fill in some gaps here's my runway um i gotta turn a little bit more get it straight but i've i've spawned everything using inventory edit or nv edit for short just because for the two planes on the left, it takes, I believe, a little more than 64 iron to actually make them completely. Oh, perfect timing, the sun setting. Um, to make them completely. And so it's just a ridiculous amount. So, all this glass was also spawned. Everything here was spawned. But, anyway, I had a very fun time checking out this mod. And, you know, just using it. It's it's great. I love I love building all this. I don't know what its plans are for the future, but I don't know. I just like having this world on my computer just for relaxing time when I need to fly my planes. Let me do one more thing here. Also, a very cool part about this is that you are able to load bullets, which I don't have any right now. But these bombs here can just drop on everything and wreak havoc. Gotta put some coal in here. Oh, I left my other one. I'll collect that later. But you can just drop bombs on things and get total revenge on creepers. See a creeper there? You kill it. I swear to god. Oh my gosh, what if I outran the light? Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No. Nope. Oh, it's fading. Ah. Uh, well, I missed it, but I shall drop a bomb on something. Let's find something to drop a bomb on. Drop a bomb in this too, right here. Right here. I think it's C to drop a bomb. Yep, I dropped a bomb. Cool. Let's go see what type of damage we did. God. No, 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 no. Alright. Got it back under control bit of building lag there. Oh, where was that? That was up here. There is my bomb hole, I think. Let me land. I am a pro. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Alrighty. Uh, I think it pretty much destroys the exact... It has the exact same properties as TNT, I think. But a very large area destroyed there. I don't know. I love just messing around with the planes in this world. 
they're a real fun time. I definitely suggest checking out the mod and installing it. I have loved it, and now I am stranded here with this useless stuff. Let's get rid of this flower so I can pick some more of it up. I guess this kind of ends my video. I'll make it back to my house eventually. But thank you for watching. Definitely check out some of our other, other videos. Rate, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, any type of crazy shit you want to do. Do it. Leave a comment. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time.